Hey guys, it's Music Clues here, and welcome to another Gamer Stand. Uh, today, I have a very special guest with us, um, indie developer, yeah, composer, uh, how do you say your name? I'm sorry. That's alright, it's French. Uh, Jean McAfee. Ah, John McAfee. Thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway, ways. John but... Muffin, if you will. Ah, okay. Well, it, it's great to have you here uh, here on uh, Game of Stand, dude. So, um, I want to, uh, why don't you uh, introduce the, yourself and tell everybody what you do. All right. Yeah, I'm Jean-Marc Giffen. Um, I work primarily with Hand Labra Games. Um, we take tabletop board and card games and turn them into uh, digital games. And uh, I do programming for that uh, on the rules side make sure the game works the way it's supposed to um, without um, needing to worry my uh, programming mind about unity related uh, UI stuff too much and I also um, compose the music for uh, for those games um, and occasionally some other uh, unrelated projects oh Okay, that's pretty impressive, uh, impressive, dude. Well, uh, so um, how'd you get your start start uh, with um, uh, hab uh, sorry, this is my first time actually interviewing somebody, so I'm a little on the hot, a little, you know, ner nervous about this. But uh, I just uh, again, uh, if I seem a little slow, guys cooperate with me uh anyway so <laughs> so no uh, problem uh so um how'd you get your start up man like what or where did all this come from um well originally i had been, been doing programming um at a for business software um and it was a nice working environment um with a really great company um but uh, the two sort of issues with um, that particular line of work is that one, I wasn't extremely invested personally in the uh, things we were actually programming, uh, even though I really liked the people I was programming with. Um, and two, it didn't allow me to uh, exercise any of the um, music background that I have have. Um, pretty much since I took piano lessons when I was, you know, seven or I can't remember exactly what age, but somewhere around there. Um, and so, <clears throat> um, I, I actually started with a, um, failed, uh, Kickstarter project, um, which I won't name. Um, but I did, I spent about a year working on programming and music for that game. Um, and then the whole project sort of fell apart. Um, so I just kind of threw my hands up. I'm like, well, I guess that's that. Um, but then a, a friend of mine uh, had a friend of his who was looking for somebody to do some programming for a game he was working on. And I didn't know much about it at the time, but I went there and basically just brought the stuff that I'd been working on for the past year because that's pretty much the only game related um, work that I had to show um, and so when I did and uh, we also talked about music because they said oh well we'll be looking for a composer and I was like oh well I also compose um, when so we we did the interview and it turned out that uh, I was a good good fit for what they wanted um, and that was to bring the card game Sentinels of the Multiverse um, uh, to make a digital version of that. Um, and so in 2014, we started, and that's what we did. And we did all the expansions. Um, so we just finished up early this year uh, with all the expansion contents for Sentinels. Oh, wow. that That's amazing, dude. That's so amazing. So, um... Um, what, like, what other projects have you had a hand in over there at, uh, other than, uh, this, uh, Sentinel, uh, project? 
Yep. So our other projects along the line, our second one was Bottom of the Ninth. Um, so that had a very like old timey nostalgia baseball feel to it. Um, the, the next one after that was called One Deck Dungeon, um, and it's a, a roguelike dungeon crawler for one to two uh, players cooperatively. Um, and uh, the the one uh, that's in early access on Steam now is called Aeon's N. Um, it's another cooperative game in which the players um, play as a group of mages protecting the last city on Earth from supernatural threats. There's a new one each night uh, that they have to deal with. And then uh, the next project will be um, kicking off is Spirit Island, um, in which the players play as spirits of an island protecting the natives from uh, foreign invaders. Wow. That sounds that sounds really cool. So um, I'll leave a link link below in the description to that early access g uh, game you mentioned, uh, and um, I, I and I'll have to check them all out myself. That sounds impressive. So I know that you you probably haven't been asked this yet, but are any of those planned to come to consoles at any time soon, or do you guys not have any plans at the moment? Um, we've been talking about putting our games on consoles. Uh, pretty much since we started Sentinels um, five, almost five years ago now, um, but the right opportunity to get it uh, onto consoles uh, hasn't come up yet. Um, so it's something we've, we're always trying to look into. Uh, we just need the right um, sort of avenue to do that. Hey. Uh, oh. So right now most of our games are on um, they're, they're definitely all on Steam, and we try and get most of them onto uh, mobile as well, especially tablets. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, well, uh, I wish you guys luck, luck, and hopefully the opportunity will uh, present itself. So, um, a couple other questions questions I wanted to ask you is I noticed on your profile that you also have done some stuff for uh, OC Remix and Mountive Collective. Uh, could you talk about that? Yeah, um, so I've been um, lurking the forms of uh, OC Remix since, I think since they started? Maybe maybe 2001. It was pretty early on. Um, I was a big fan of this idea of, um, <clears throat> you know, f freely available video game music. Uh, remixes and arrangements and um, I think it's fair to say they were sort of the pioneers in that you know um, 1999 was still pretty early in the uh, internet's life um, and so um, them making that up available was quite uh, innovative in the day um, and the fact that it was all free meant that you know you didn't have to um, hunt it down or you know you didn't have to feel bad about downloading it for free and playing it um and so uh yeah i've always been um interested and supportive in what they've done um i have a few tracks that are on the site um yeah, for donkey kong country and final fantasy 9 um and i'm also going to contribute a track to um, an upcoming remix album for uh, Terra Enigma. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. Sounds it sounds cool. Uh, I'll be sh sure to um, hopefully, uh, if you could, maybe you can send those links to those remixes that, uh, to me via uh, here, and um, I can uh, put them in the description when I uh, put post this video up. Uh, but um, that sounds. Uh, I bet you've done an amazing job because OC Remix is one of my favorite remix sites of all time. Uh, I go there every so often. Big fan of a Sonic album, so yeah, I be yeah. I'm. I can't wait to hear what you've done done uh, OC Remix. Uh, what about Motive Collective? I know those guys are pretty well known for doing a Sonic album, but uh, have you done anything for them? Yeah, the Materia Collective, um, 
I they kind of came out of nowhere, at least from my perspective, with their um, Materia album, which was the a big like Final Fantasy VII um, remix project, and they've since grown it grown into a rather large label. Um, they, you know, originally it was um, albums that were all remixes of a particular game. Um, and since have expanded to uh, original soundtracks and things like that as well. And, um, and sheet music. And uh, it's, it's really grown quite a bit uh, in only a few years. Um, and so uh, I, was, I contributed to a um, Final Fantasy Tactics uh, album, the Zodiac album. Um, I have always been interested in doing more with that, uh, but the work that I have keeps me busy enough that doing side fan projects uh, isn't often in the cards right now, especially with two young children. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling all too well. I mean, I don't have any kids, <laughs> kids of my own, but I have two young nieces and nephews, uh, four no young nieces and ne nephews, and they are a handful. <laughs> So yep. I know that feeling. Uh, but uh, uh, that's good to hear. Well, I will definitely take a listen to that too later. Um, there was one more on your uh, Twitter account that I noticed, VG Academy. Now that's a name I've never heard of. Do you, uh, could you tell us a little about, bit about that too? Yeah, um, it's it's been around for a couple of years now. Um, uh, and I'm just trying to look up exactly when it started. It might not, might but not be somewhere obvious. Um, but basically, uh, the idea is that there's a lot of people, um, beginning composers especially, who want to compose music for video games. Um, but there isn't a lot of resources for what to do if you're just starting out uh, as a game music composer. Um, I sort of discovered this as I already had work. I've been very fortunate in how quickly I was able to get uh, work in the field from when I sort of decided to do so. Um, but I know that for a lot of people, you know, it's um, especially if all they want to do is compose music, usually they have to take, you know, small co contracts here and there for. Um, you know, for smaller projects or for individual tracks, you know, compilation or something like that before they, um, you know, have enough going to sustain themselves. Um, and so VGM Academy exists to kind of help people get that uh, start. Um, it's the, it was created by um, Dan Halsman, um, who's a really great, uh, passionate guy. Um, and uh, he, he really puts a lot into this, um, this resource that he basically does because he wants to help people, um, which is awesome. Oh, that sounds cool. Well, I will definitely link, link him below in the description. He, uh, I'll link that site below in the description. Uh, he sounds like a very amazing guy, too. Uh, if you talk to him again, tell, tell him uh, that I appreciate all the hard work he has done to help out composers, because I know for a fact that in general for video games it's hard, but composers probably is the hardest, because <laughs> you have so much competition. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, were you going to say something? Oh no, I was just agreeing that, you know, um, you know, I don't, I personally don't think as other composers as, as competition, but I, I also don't need to because, you know, my, my role in that feels secure enough that I just, I, I basically want to help other, um, I, I want to see other composers getting, getting, uh, all the work that they can. Um, but I know that it's like, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the more people trying to look for the work, um, it, the uh, the harder it, it is to to get recognized, especially if you don't haven't done any projects yet. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that uh, that's good that you want to help others. Um, let me see. Uh, ah, 
he is one. Um, so in addition, uh, do you like? I know you probably have a lot, a lot of development time, but when you do get a free moment, what type of games do you like to play? Ah, uh, um, yeah. So uh, I really love adventure uh, games, um, you know, visual novels like um, Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton. Um, I grew up mostly on platformers, um, especially uh, Nintendo platformers, um, so Mario, Donkey Kong Country, um, and those kinds of things. Um, I, I went through a, a substantial phase where I played a lot of JRPGs. Um, I don't do that as much anymore, mostly because of the time commitment involved, uh, and whenever I do start one, I rarely get to finish it. Um, but you know, those are sort of a, a genre that I think of fondly and um, definitely find has, tends to have a very high quality soundtrack involved. Um, and the ones that I tend to play more now because of the fact that they, their less time commitment is, um, is puzzle games. Um, not so much like the, um, Tetris or match three style puzzle games as like, um, you know, first person puzzlers like portal or, um, puzzle platform games, um, you know, like limbo or something like that. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a Phoenix fight fan on the go gamers gamers. So he'll appreciate hearing that. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love those, those games. My, my wife doesn't play very many games, um, but th that's a series that her and I play together, so uh, it sort of has a, s a special place. Well, that's good that you share your games with your wife, too. That, that is a very special special passion. I know a lot, lot of people who met the, uh, uh, love through video gaming, so that's very cool. Heck, even... Uh, um, uh, even one of my favorite artists, artists met his uh, foot met his um uh white wife before a girlfriend through video gaming so that's pretty awesome uh yeah hmm? oh i was saying yeah that's that's great that that's what you know people can connect on a um a an interest that they're passionate about mm -hmm. uh let me see do i have any other questions uh oh um, so, you like, are you, uh, are you looking for, so here's a question, how, how hard is it to, like, compose music, uh, music, is it like, um, now I know it's not an easy field to get into, not, nothing is really, but, um, uh, do you find it very hard to come up with a tune and a medley, medley at times, or how do you get your start on a song? Yeah, um... I mean, it varies from track to track. Uh, it depends what uh, is needed for a particular um, for a particular um, moment in the game. You know, if it's a if it's a character's theme, I usually start off with figuring out what this the overall style and melody will sound like. Um, if it's an environment, though, I'm much more concerned with. Um, the tone colors um so like what sounds you hear as opposed to the melody or the harmony or anything like that um so yeah i mean most of the time i just fiddle away either on the keyboard if i'm trying to start off with just a melody harmony kind of thing or i'll um experiment with sounds if I'm trying to go for something um, the where timbre is more important so <clears throat> you know in virtual instruments you can have thousands of different sounds um, and they're really hard to categorize in a searchable um, way and so a lot of the times you just have to kind of listen to them and say does that work does that not work or can i make this one work if i make some adjustments to it so. oh yeah that's definitely something uh so, something that's very important well um um i think think that's a very good insight so um 
you would you have any advice for anybody who wants to start composing? Po posing like if they wanted to start writing songs? Yeah, um, I would say a lot of beginning composers um, try to, you know, look at what's, um, you know, modern or whatever or what other people are doing and try to mimic that. Um, and I think it's definitely important to have influences and to know what they are. are. Um, but, you know, each composer has their own unique um, strengths and weaknesses and I think it's important to um, start with your strength whatever your strength is like start with that because a lot of people think that whatever their strength is is the easiest part of music I've just noticed this you know if somebody's really good at melody writing they're like oh well melodies are easy it's like well not for that composer it's not <laughs> um you know if if you find a particular aspect of composing um easier then that's what you should really hone in on because that's probably where you're going to uh make the most progress the fastest in um and i would say like actually going through the process of composing is in general more important than um, you know re reading a bunch of resources or watching a bunch of videos or whatever. Um, that's not to say you shouldn't do that. In fact, you should because it'll give you ideas that you hadn't thought of before. But the actual process of sitting down and writing something and not worrying about its quality so much as the fact that you've done it um, is more important than you know only ever completing one piece of music in your life uh, because you're so um, nervous about getting it right that you don't even start and then you know it takes a year just to write one piece of music or something so that that does uh, that that is very 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 good 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 to hear from you so um yeah i think that's about it it really in terms of uh questions so <laughs> Uh, thank you again for um, let, uh, letting me interview you, dude. Uh, for and uh, hopefully I will leave a link to all of sent uh, all of your um, stuff below, as well as your the company you work with, with because I'm pretty sure everybody will want to check out all the, that stuff. And uh, I wish you good luck in the future, dude. Dude, hopefully some uh, hopefully someday you'll we'll see all your games on console as well because I would love to play them on the Switch. <laughs> I mean, if we were to bring them to consoles, that's the one I would definitely want it on, so. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and thank you for uh, not, only, not just taking the time to interview me, but, um, you know, all the uh, work you do in, um, in sharing your love of uh, game music and games in general um, with others. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's much appreciated. Oh, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, I will write back at you, dude. Thank you for uh, taking the time out of your day for letting me interview you. And, um, being on the Go Gamers channel it is much appreciated, especially. Especially, so, um, yeah. All right, guys, um, do you have any, uh, you have any closing words? Uh, no, just thanks again for, um, I guess yes, since I am saying words. Um, yeah, thanks again for, for taking the time to do this, and uh, I look forward to seeing you around, and uh, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, we'll see new compo composers uh, popping up all the time for you to interview. Oh yeah, yeah. Trust me, trust me. This is only the second episode. I got a couple more people in mind. Uh, I have my eye on. Uh, uh Hmm? I said awesome. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, that's all for now. Now, I will see you on the next video, and this is yours truly, uh, DJ Music Clues, signing off. I'll uh, see you guys later. Cheers.